Good evening. Welcome to the January 15th Planning Board meeting. Um, in front of you are the minutes for our previous meeting. Are there any corrections, additions, or changes? I move to approve the meeting minutes from the last meeting. Uh, the, uh, the, the minutes have been moved for approval. Are there any uh, seconds? Moves seconded. Um, all those in favor? We show by raising the right hand. The minutes are approved. We have in front of us uh, some correspondence. We have a letter from the South Portland Planning Department regarding Blueberry Ridge. We have a letter from Jim Fisher regarding Golden Ridge. We have a letter from the town attorney, Michael Hill, regarding Golden Ridge. We have a memorandum from the Public Works Director regarding Golden Ridge. We have a letter from Al Bumstead regarding Blueberry Ridge subdivision and a letter to Mr. and Mrs. Bolus regarding Blueberry Ridge and a letter to C. Brown regarding Blueberry Ridge. Um, before we get into business tonight, we have uh, had some nominations for offices for 2002. Um, would somebody like to move uh, that those offices be approved for the 2002? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that the offices as submitted be approved for the year 2002. We've had a movement for and a motion to approve the uh, Offices for 2002. Is there any comments, any questions, or a second? Okay. Might we disclose the identity of those officers <laughs> to the viewing I, public? I guess no. yes. <laughs> would you like to do that, Peter? Uh, my motion would allowing for Mr. Griffin to continue as chair for one year with John as the associate chair. Co-chair. Is there a second on that? Second. I'd like to suggest that, that uh, Mr. Seraldo be uh, nominated as vice chair. I believe that's the. That's Thank you. You're right. The planning board regulations. All those in favor of that motion, and the motion carries. Get Mr. that form. Yes. Um. May, may, I would like to have something made of record, please. Go right ahead. Um, I would like it to be of record that I have walked the Blueberry Ridge site with Maureen O'Mara and asked many questions and had many questions answered. And I've read all the correspondence and the minutes related to that project. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, is there any other old business? Mr. Chairman. Yes. Along the same vein, I'd also like to state for the record that uh, while I was not present at the last planning board meeting in December, I have thoroughly reviewed the minutes from that meeting, including all the notes from the public hearing, and have reviewed a substantial portion of the videotape of the hearing, so I feel that I'm back up to speed on that project. Uh, this is Blueberry Ridge in, in particular, and uh, I feel ready and prepared to move forward with the rest of the planning board as we look at the submission over the coming months. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Is there any other business, old business? That Without hearing any, then uh, <clears throat> we'll move into our first item on the agenda, which is um, Romeo's Pizza Site Plan Review. Uh, Dimitris Mijos is uh, requesting site plan review to convert 2,228 square feet to a restaurant with loading dock and coolers and a 1,247 square foot addition to storage and prep area in the existing Pond Cove Shopping Center located at Ocean House Road. The application will be reviewed for compliance with Section 19-9 Site Plan Regulations and Section 19-6-4 Town Center District Requirements. If uh, somebody would like to get up and brief us uh, on the changes that you've made or any additions that you'd like to make, My name is Dimitrios Mijos. I'm the owner of Romeo's Pizza. Um, 
basically the plan I presented to you is what I'm looking for. I don't really have any changes precise. Um, there is one omission, I think I forgot to mention, on the paperwork that I gave you, which would be on the back of the loading dock where I'm planning to have my walking coolers and walking freezers. I would like to have like a little roof that I would like to build over the coolers so as the snow comes it doesn't destroy the top of the roof of the coolers. It will be approximately about 8 feet wide, 8, eight 10 feet wide. Um, and the length of the coolers is approximately 18 feet long. But um, if you have any questions, I'd like to go. I'm going to have to go to you to you all along. Excuse me. I did. Yes, I said if you have any questions, I'm, I'm open to answer your that, questions. That's the only change from the plan that we have in front of us. Correct. I just don't show the roof, that's all. I have a question, actually, that I'd like to address to the town planner. One of the issues raised in your memorandum is uh, that of parking and whether there is uh, sufficient information in the application to, t to determine uh, the, the parking issue in light of uh, Section 19-7-8. And I'm just wondering if you could address that issue for us this evening. Okay. I, I guess I'd like to ask the applicant, how many seats are going to be in your restaurant? I'm planning to have 56. 56. Okay. Um, what I've done is looked at the total square footage of the shopping center um, in concert with the town assessor, and we've determined that there's 26,735 square feet total space in the shopping center, and if you assume that all of that space is retail, and I believe that not all of it is retail, some of it is probably storage space, so this would be kind of a worst case scenario calculation. Um, the retail, uh, the parking for retail space for retail use requirement is three spaces per 1,000 square feet. So if the entire shopping center, and Mr. Mehouse isn't proposing to add any square footage to the shopping center, uh, was retail, then it would require 80 spaces. In fact, there are 136 spaces on the site. Um, I had calculated a 52 seat restaurant, but if it was a 56 seat restaurant, that would require uh, 14 additional spaces. Uh, we assumed six employees on site. In the worst scenario, yes, six. Okay. Um, so Mr. Mehos's space would have six spaces from our original retail calculation. If you subtract those out, you're down to 74 spaces. And then you add in the 20 spaces that you would need for the restaurant. That gets you up to 96. And we know that there's 136 on the site. 139. Um, I believe there are a few spaces shown on the site that are actually now a play area for On Our Planet. Okay, thank you. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Thank you. So plenty left over for community services. <laughs> Maybe that application isn't That's right. before us. I think the only other question was about the uh, light level at the property line, the one new light that's going in the rear of the building. I think it's 400. Hmm. 400 white lighting fixture on the back of the wall. 
right now in the back of the plaza where the loading dock is, uh, there's no, no light at all. So it's really dark and uh, for safety reasons and security reasons for my employees, I was, I was planning to have some kind of a lighting in the back because at night it's really dark. What, what we'd probably like to see is a, a description of that light, a definition of it so that we can see um, how it affects the lot line and uh, it would have to be a description on the drawing so that we would see that. On, on the drawing, <clears throat> it shows the lighting, and that's basically above. If you see right here what says the, let me see. In the middle of where it says option to lease, <clears throat> there is a door. And above the door, that's where the mounted light is going to go. So it's going to be mounted to the building and facing down in that area, around the loading dock area. And, that answers your question. I think what we'd like to, to know is the is the wattage of it. And usually when you buy when you get a fixture like that, they'll give you a coverage area where it will go. We, we would probably like to see that so that I think it's important to light that area and I and I appreciate you doing it, but we do have some ordinances that indicate that, that um, the light, if it shines on another area that is not yet property, that uh, we like to know that ahead of time in case there's a problem. I don't really have an exact answer to you for that, really. I don't know the exact area that it covers. I just uh, basically I talked with an electrician, and he recommended that to me, so, light, so that would light the back area, and that's what I proposed. But the exact coverage, I really don't know. What? One of the ways that you can possibly solve that problem is to, is for us to, if we give you approval at that time, we can declare that that, that lighting has to be adequate to meet the uh, provisions of the ordinance. So, sure, that's and fine. that gives you time to clear that up and get get it to us. That's fine, no problem. <clears throat> Mr. Mijos, there's a, a section in the the zoning ordinance for site plan review that says. Uh, the level of illumination at the property line shall not exceed a certain number of foot candles, 0.5. So I think what we'd be looking for is a demonstration on, on the drawing that you've looked at the fixture, you've looked at uh, how much light is there that's coming across the property line. And obviously, you're right close to the property line, so you want to shine the thing right on the door and not, not out into the, into the abutting area. It's not a big issue, but for completeness, it's something that we, we always look for. Just as a question of reference, um, I think when uh, we talked to you last time, there was some concern that, on the entryway as far as the times. And, and how are you going to arrange that entryway? Is that creating a problem at all at this time for your hours of operation? Uh, I'm sorry, when, uh, which entry on, you referred on, to? On the front entrance, you were concerned about access and, and, and the, the bank teller there. I was just yes. kind of curious how you were handling that. Correct. Uh, right now, there's a foyer that's been there. And if you go, for example, if you want to go to the bank, as it is, as things are today, you have to walk through a foyer, and then you take a left and you go to the bank. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the same foyer, but if you want to go to Romeo's, you're going to take a right. Uh, the difference is that um, the way things are now, uh, the bank closes much earlier than I do, and they lock the door. And unless you have an ATM card that you have to slide through, you cannot open the door to get in to the ATM machine. Uh, talking with the management company, we came to an agreement where uh, I would be responsible of locking the door to the foyer at night when I close the door. So when the bank closes for business, it will still be accessible to my customers. But at the end of the night, I'll be responsible of uh, locking that door. Thank you. So you have that agreement in place? You're all set?
question? Any other questions? I just have another question for the town planner. I, one of the issues that we need to decide uh, tonight is whether we need to forward this on to a public hearing or whether we can consider waiving a public hearing, if assuming we determine the application is complete. Has there been any response uh, from the public to this application? Have, or otherwise? I haven't gotten any comments from the public. I've gotten several comments from town staff that they really like to be able to have some place to go get a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'd like to offer a motion that the application be deemed complete with the expectation that uh, the couple of minor points cited in the review by the town engineer would be conditions in any final approval, unless there's anybody on the board who objects to that. Go right ahead. I'd like to offer the following motion. Be it ordered, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Demetrios Mijos site plan review to convert 2,228 square feet to a restaurant with loading dock and coolers and 1,247 square feet to a storage and prep area in the existing Pond Cove Shopping Center on Ocean House Road be deemed complete. Yes. I'd, I'd like to request that the motion be amended to include the statement of 56 seat restaurant. A 56-seat restaurant. I would like to amend the motion, as Maureen has suggested. Would we also amend it to a subject to the lighting on the drawings, the foot candles? Well, I was the figuring that that would be a, a condition of approval. Okay. A Motion's second. been made. Uh, second. Second. It's been seconded. Is there any further discussion? And I'll bring the motion to a vote. All those in favor of the motion, show by raising the right hand. Uh, the motion carries. Okay. Um, I just would throw out for the board's consideration. I don't think a site walk is uh, necessary for this application. And I, I, based on what I've heard thus far, I don't believe a public hearing would serve any purpose either. And I would suggest that we consider waiving the public hearing for this particular applicant. Any other concerns about those two issues? No, I'll yeah. just add my voice of support in that it's not a new use for the shopping center, and that is another reason for me um, agreeing that I think we can waive the public hearing. Question for Maureen. Uh, Mr. Mijos mentioned that there is uh, going to be a, a little shed roof of, of some kind over the coolers, which is not indicated on the plans. Uh, would we need any further review of that other than just indicating those on the plans? Would that need comment from the town engineer or anybody else? I don't believe it would. Mr. Mehaus did discuss the, the, the shed roof with both me and the code enforcement officer, and we were thinking about it in terms of adding impervious surface, and it's, it's, it's covering the coolers, which are sitting on top of the loading dock, so it's not adding any more impervious surface than is already there. have a question about the thousand gallon I guess LP gas tank that you propose to install I see an arrow drawn to the general place it's going to be located um, but I don't see it dimensionally you know drawn in on the plan am I reading your plan correctly
because the site plan is kind of like there's too much information right there and it's kind of like saving at times to see where things are what I've done and I don't know if this is of any help to you uh, I made some copies here of how it will look and I don't know if this helps you out I'll pass it to you and I'll make it better understand the gas I think, I think, I think we, we have, have this in our yes. yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have a different one which doesn't show the test. So that's how it sits today. And the square that you have is the existing log problem. And what I'm doing here is I'm showing where the gas will be, where the dumpsters will be, after I remove the log problem. Okay. You may want to pass those out. Thank you. So I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, I see the gas tank on here, and I assume it's in proportion to the rest of the structures on the property. Are you erecting a barrier around it, and if so, of what sort of material? Yes. Uh, what I'm planning to do there, let me, let me tell you what I'm doing here. First, I'm trying to dismantle part of that existing wooden uh, deck that's there, so we'll give an open area. And in that area, I'm planning to put the dumpsters where it's the show. And then we're going to push, put the gas tank, which is 1,000 gallon gas tank. And I was planning to put some jersey barriers all around it for safety purposes. And has the town engineer had an opportunity to review um, the proposed you know, protective barriers? And are they satisfactory? My concern would be that you know, something's going to back up to the loading dock and you know, bump into it. and. I don't see any reason necessarily to hold up approval and make you wait for another month, but I certainly would like some sort of um, contingency or uh, condition placed in the, on the approval tonight that the town engineer and or code enforcement officer review the siting location and of barrier. Of you, you don't have any problem with putting that on the drawing? Uh, putting what on the drawing? M putting the gas tank on this drawing or setting a... a, a uh, what I did is I called, I called the gas company that I do business with for my other stores, and then I told them this is what I like to do, and they recommended me something to that effect. But I haven't really talked to the town engineer, so whatever makes sense, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. What, uh, what we'd like to see is, is that on the original drawing for record purposes. On the original drawing, it does yeah. show. If you... It does show... Um, it's, there are three proposed items. Is the one on the very left, as you see. Um, but what I would like to see you do is set it off to the side, and maybe just put just put this on here, stating that that's the way the gas tank will be, and it will have Jersey barriers on it. That will give. Okay. The town engineer a chance to look at that. Sure. And as long as it's on the drawing, then it yeah. will be of record. Again, uh, the reason I did this separate was to show it to you because right there it's too congested and it's hard to picture it. So, yeah. Karen, would you like to uh, offer an amendment to that so that, he, that it's in the record? Are we ready to make a motion for approval? Um, I would just list it as a, you are. <laughs> would you be comfortable dressing? Sure, <laughs> sure. yeah. I guess it's busily drafting a way, but feel free to amend okay. if it the, doesn't cover your concern. You're the lawyer. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have a motion for the board to consider. Uh, be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Demetrius Mijos for site plan review to convert 2,228 square feet to a 56 seat restaurant with loading dock and coolers and 1,247 square feet to a storage and prep area in the existing Pond Cove shopping center located in Ocean House Road is approved with the following conditions 
prior to issuance of a building permit. One, that the applicant provide information that any new lighting will not exceed 0.5 foot candles on the property line prior to issuance of a building permit. Two, that the shed roof over the outdoor coolers be added to the plan. And three, that the placement and the guarding of the gas tanks and the gas tank area be approved by the code enforcement officer. And added to the plan. Yeah. And that those be added to the plan as well. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Do I hear any discussion? Is there any further discussion? Did we get a coherent motion? <laughs> Hey, wait a second. <laughs> You're using three sets of notes. Hey, right, uh, motion made, seconded. There's no further discussion. All those in favor of the motion, show by raising the right hand. The motion carries. You have an approval. If you uh, firm with those uh, conditions and can comply with those, I, I think everything will go fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there any other business uh, this evening in, court, in front of us? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we adjourn. Motion is made. Any second? Second. Seconded. Any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor? The meeting's adjourned.